Hey, what's up guys? I'm Rob Riches and welcome back to my new training series, Master Focus, whereby each week I pick one muscle group and show you at least five exercises with a variety of different angles, movements, and variations. Last week, it was all about the hamstrings. This week, I'm bringing it back up top and focusing on the biceps. Now, this training series is in partnership with Highly, premium sports clothing and apparel that you won't find in stores online only, with the input and feedback from a passionate community like you guys. You can save up to 40% off your first order by clicking in the link below, and there'll be more about that later. But first, let's kick things off with the first of our five bicep exercises. Exercise number one, and for this I'm doing the arm curl. Lever curl, you use a preacher bench, cables, dumbbells, or the machine like this. The reason I'm starting off on this, and these five exercises are in no particular order, they're just five exercises that I feel really thoroughly work the bicep. The benefit to this is it supports the back of the arm. So it's a great warm up exercise that you can progressively build up with the weights. My goal for this is about 12 reps, and one thing I really love about this is there's tons of variations. Perform it single arm, you can change the angle and the width of the elbows and also the grip as well, so we'll do that. Really, this exercise works the short head of the bicep. So if you want that peak, this exercise is gonna be key for that. All right, that's the warm up done. Couple of sets with some uh, 12, 15 reps. We've got some resistance bands there as well. Help stretch out the bicep. Now I'm gonna start my first working set, so with this, my goal is to reach failure on that 12th rep, and if I reach 12, 13 reps, that's the cue to go ahead and add a little bit more weight. Instead of going heavier on these next working sets, I'm gonna use this machine to just change up and add some variation into this set. First one being changing the placement of my elbows. So instead of that neutral position, I'm gonna tilt my elbows in slightly. Not too much, not like that, just like 10 degrees in, which means my wrists need to come a little bit further out. What this is gonna do is place a little bit more emphasis on that inner section of the bicep as opposed to the full width of it there. So no need to go heavier on this one. In fact, I'll keep the same weight. And then after, we'll switch it up, elbows out, grip inwards and you'll see a little bit more emphasis on the outer section of the bicep. Small, subtle changes like this can actually have a big impact on the overall arm development within your training. Let's get back to it. What you're gonna feel with this is it just feels like more effort is being done. There's more stress and load coming through this section of the bicep. The bicep itself is one muscle, but it splits off with two different heads, kind of like a, a snake's tail, right down here and up here. So the short head here, which you can kind of just see here, with the long head being there, starts to take over and has to do more of the work when you bring the elbow in. Also, when you're supporting the back of the arm, which we're doing on this preacher bench here, we fully allow that muscle to be exercised as opposed to elbows at the side or freestanding, which is typically the long head of the bicep being worked. You'll see that with some of the other exercises later on in the video. Whilst I'm on this machine, I'm gonna finish off performing some single arm exercises. Now with this, you don't wanna to be too angled around like this. The key to this is remaining in that same position as when you're performing it with both arms. 
we're just going to use one arm to stabilize and support. So now that I've dropped the weight by about 60% from that original weight, I can focus now on my arm. And again, I can change the angle of the elbow very slightly to affect the placement and the stress on that muscle. When I say squeeze the muscle, the best way that I can show that is, imagine if someone's got a grip around your arm like that, and you're trying to squeeze the arm to break that grip. It's that same muscle activation at the top of the movement and, and throughout as well. As you start to lift up, you're gonna to start to increase the tension that you're putting through that bicep. Just doing this movement alone is only part of the exercise. The second part and really the key part is engaging and squeezing the muscle as much as you can. Just doing the movement alone will only allow your body to become more efficient at doing that. Fully engaging, contracting and squeezing that muscle at its peak with the right amount of weight is what is needed for your body to have to adapt, recover, regrow, get bigger and stronger for that next time you come work out. And with that in mind, let's head over to exercise number two. Definitely one of my favorite bicep exercises. In fact, armor exercises. With this one, the key is really keeping the elbow at your side, not allowing it to pull forwards, not engaging the front shoulders to pull the arm complex forwards. You'll see my arm is pretty much stable at the side. The only thing I'm doing is contracting and lengthening the bicep there, allowing for nearly a full stretch, certainly a stretch in my biceps, but I'm not allowing the bar to touch down on my thighs. That's an important note because I'm keeping tension in the muscle throughout the entire range of movement. Really, you wanna be shooting for about eight reps and this is because it works the full width of the bicep. So on this one, we're gonna primarily keep the elbows, wrists and shoulders all in that alignment, but I will add some variation in by using an easy bar and therefore changing the placement of my hand and also the elbows slightly to affect a different area of that bicep. <sighs> You know, one of the reasons I decided to team up with Hailey was because of tops like this, that Icon Quad Blend. First of all, it's a great fit, fits me properly around the chest and around the neck area here. Secondly, the Quad Blend fabric means it moves when I move, especially when I train upper body, shoulders, back and chest. And also, there's not logos all over, so it's ideal for things like videos and photo shoots, because you know as well as I do, if you're doing a photo shoot, you can't have logos all over your top and highly makes that possible. Okay, more about this later, but for now, let's move on. Have a look at exercise number three. So what does that incline on the bench do? Well, because we lean back, our arms are actually hanging further back than if we were sat in an upright position, which makes it a lot easier to cheat the rep if we need to. With this and our arms hanging back down, it's a lot harder to cheat, which means all of that effort being done to lift the weight is done just by the bicep. Don't go too heavy to the point where you're having to lift your hips up off the bench. In fact, start light and over the next set or two, progressively build up to the point where eight, nine or 10 reps is all you can manage. One more set here and then I'll show you how you can switch it up and use face forwards on the bench to equally work the biceps just as hard. Okay, I mentioned there's literally 101 ways that you can use the bench. Eh, not that many, but you know what I mean. We'll turn it around, face forwards on this one. We're gonna drop the weight down and perform some incline, pronated dumbbell or even easy bar curls. And it looks something like this.
the reason I'm doing this now is that, like with all my workouts, I want to get the biggest, strongest exercises out of the way first, after a good warm-up. Therefore, I can use all of my energy when I'm feeling fresh, when I'm feeling motivated and energized early on in the workout. Midway and towards the end of the workout, I want to start to break the exercises down to become more isolated. I've got all of the strength out of the biceps, but I can still work it with some suspended easy bar dumbbell curls. And as you see with the next two exercises with cables, I can really start to fine tune and polish off that short head peak on the bicep. Let's go have a look at that. What a great exercise. High cable curls or a few other names that you can call them. The reason I'm performing this as a single arm exercise is, look, if I do both, my arms aren't fully stretched out with tension. And if I start to walk forward, it starts to pull me back. I want to be completely in line. That cable, the line of pull, in line with my arm. And as like most cable crossover or cable machines, they don't allow that full width of the arms so I've got tension in both. This isn't working, but with one arm, I can get that full stretch, that length in the bicep, and also keep tension on without the weight touching down. So that's my first tip. Make sure that it's set at about the height of your shoulder, just a little bit higher, so that as you pull that cable in, the bicep is doing the work pulling in. Secondly, take a step away, so that at full arm's length, you have tension in that cable, therefore in the muscle. Also, keep the elbow rotated round. We're not curling the elbow pointing outwards. If you look from this angle, my elbow and shoulder are in alignment. Tricep pointing directly down to the floor, not back behind me. Also this one, usually I save this towards the end of my workout. This is exercise number four. So I have that strength that I had with those earlier exercises. So why don't I go heavy on this one? 12, 15, even high repetitions and I'm focused on that smooth contraction, that squeeze at the top, and that lengthening of the bicep. A nice fluid movement. But I will go a little bit heavier for each working set. Okay, before we move on to the fifth and final exercise, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set all of you a challenge. Show me your best bicep pose, whether it's a pose like this, a stage pose, something like this. Show me your best bicep pose that you've got. Post it on Instagram using hashtag Highlight Nation. Add Highlight as well, train Highlight, and me, Rob Richards. I'll pick the best one a week after this video post, and I'll send you, not this top of course, but a brand new Highlight Icon Blend, Muscle Tea, and a signed copy of my book, Ultra Lean. So post that, use the hashtag, Harley Nation, I'll pick one, and let everyone know next week who the winner is. <sighs> Arms are feeling great. Let's finish this off on a high. I think we'll do a little combination exercise with some close grip pull-ups, superset that with some cross-body hammer curls. As you can see, just slight variations and differences in changing the width of my hand. That pulls the elbows in more. That changes the amount of work being done on that short head of the bicep. It's like an entirely different exercise. Let's finish off with these. Now for this one, you'll notice I actually bring the elbow round a little bit and then curl it up. So the shoulder comes into play a little bit just to allow the arm to sweep round in front of the body. You want to get the other dumbbell all the way up to your opposite shoulder, or at least as high as you can. Oh 
man. Just those five exercises with a few variations across both really has left me feeling like I've hit the full spectrum of my bicep. The long head down here with those hammer curls, elbows at the side, the short head on that preacher bench with the curl and those high cable and to a degree, the wide grip pull-ups as well. A lot of different movements there, a few different exercises. Arms feel great, really good workout, definitely want to try. And also don't forget my challenge to you, hashtag Highly Nation, win a brand new icon, quad blend, master T, and a signed copy of my book. If you want to find out more, click on the link below. Just use my name, Riches. You get 40% off anything you want on your first order. <sighs> I'm going to head back to eat, recuperate, get ready for next week when we'll train. I don't even have to tune in for that one. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget, follow me on Facebook. I do live streams every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. See you guys next week. Keep training hard, eat clean. You know what to do, stay motivated. See you then.